Hi everybody, this is Chris from Vancouver, Canada, and in week four of Introduction to Music Production, um, I wanted to do my presentation on compression, and I'm going to demonstrate how compression affects um, your sound on by showing you what it does to a drum loop. Uh, here's the drum loop that I've created. And let's go ahead and drop a compressor on this. And let's take all these down to zero. Threshold is at zero. So a compressor, this compressor in Ableton Live 9 has um, kind of these three views. This is a mini view. So you see the threshold, the gain reduction, and the output level. And uh, this will show you the actual um, threshold ratio graph with the knee and everything and then you also have this so this will show you your signal and also whatever gain reduction is uh, being applied to it by the compressor so kind of the first the most important uh, variables on the compressor are the threshold and the ratio and I say that because if you have those set to you know the ratio one to one and the threshold at zero you actually won't have any you know impact to your signal or your, uh, your sound at all. Um, secondary variables are attack and release, and those will adjust how fast the compressor is acting and how fast it's um, unacting or uh, removing itself from your original signal. Uh, and then you also have a knee, which will put a nice smooth bend uh, in your threshold ratio uh, graph here. Um, so first of all, let's turn this back on, and you'll see that there's no difference whether I turn the compressor on or off at this point. Even if I crank the ratio, there's really no difference because the threshold is at zero. But if I now bring down the threshold, you'll start to hear the, the reduction. And maybe I'll throw it on this graph. Let's turn makeup off. Actually, let's talk about makeup for a second. So makeup, um, you'll notice if I take this way down and then I play the drum loop with the compressor off and then turn it on, uh, you'll notice that the kind of the output uh, level doesn't change too much. I mean, it gets a little quieter with, when that compressor's on, but what makeup will do is kind of increase that uh, the gain at the end of the compressor right so that's a lot louder now so for the purposes of my demonstration I'm going to keep makeup off um, so the other thing you notice there is the compression was starting to work with uh, the threshold set pretty low and the ratio at kind of uh, limiting um, kind of region here uh, let's Go back, dial that back a little bit, and see what that sounds like. So one of the differences I notice is that that kick drum is actually starting to flub a little bit. So I think what's happening there is the uh, the waveform of the kick drum is actually getting a little bit distorted because we're compressing it so harshly. So maybe if I set the attack to a little longer, that'll go away. Sure enough, it does. Still a little flubby, though. That's a little better. So now the compression is happening a little slower. And if I adjust release, you'll notice that these curves start to get curvy. So that's pretty much my time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that um, helped with uh, your understanding of compression. Thanks so much. See you next week.